Today we're in the kitchen with certified raw vegan chef Dorit Dyke, and she's going to show us how to make an American favorite, apple pie. Tanya Kay tells us how we can help protect the environment in our Raw Planet segments. And Ellen Chang takes us to Ola Vegetarian Restaurant to sample some raw vegan cuisine with an Asian flair. This and more on The Uncooking Show. Welcome to The Uncooking Show, the show all about raw vegan cuisine and lifestyle. Raw vegan food is uncooked and unprocessed so that you get the maximum nutritional value from the food that you eat. And no sushi is not raw vegan. The raw vegan movement is quickly becoming popular, not only with celebrities such as Demi Moore and Woody Harrelson, but with mainstream America as well. On this show, we're going to teach you how to make your own delicious uncooked gourmet dishes and give you important information on raw vegan health, entertainment, and lifestyle. Joining us today is raw chef Dorit Dyke from Serenity Spaces. Welcome, Dorit. Thank you, Lauren. What will we be making today? Today we celebrate the apple and we're starting with something which most people in the cooked world know, apple pie. Oh, nice. Okay. How do we get started? Well, the thing is that we, start, we have to start days ahead of time. Mm. In the raw world, there's a lot of food preparation going on. So, for example, if you notice here, we have almonds. Almonds are very underutilized in the cooked world. And yet, this is one of the main things that lowers cholesterol, especially the LDL, the cholesterol that we do not want to raise. Okay. And we're using this for a crust. So, we're not going to be using any flour for people who are allergic to gluten and flour, and most people are, and they don't even realize it. When they switch to raw, they find that a lot of allergies clear up. So we use a lot of nuts and seeds for crusts. The almonds are soaked eight hours to 48 hours ahead of time. That not only removes the resin, which is actually toxic, but it also takes out a lot of the fat, and it makes the, the actual nut or the seed more digestible. Is it just soaked in water? Soaked in water, filtered okay. water, <laughs> of <Okay>. course, <laughs> yes, yes. Filtered water. You see, we also have walnuts here. This, however, must be soaked 48 hours. This is 8 to 48. This must be 48. The water has to be changed and it has to be rinsed every morning and every evening. You'll see that we'll make this pie really fast today. Mm -hmm. The real work came beforehand. Oh, okay. Dates are what we're going to be using as a sweetener. But this is not just sugar. This is actual nutrients. There's a lot of iron in this. And most people ought to be eating dates just as a snack or as part of their everyday nutritional intake. So we're going to be sweetening with dates and we're going to be sweetening also with raisins. Now the dates we're keeping just as they are. We have deep pitted the dates, however, we've taken out the pits. To take the pit out of the date, you have to be very careful to really make sure you remove them because can you see that this is rather small? And if you're just feeling it around, you feel this and you'll see that it feels like there's no oh, yeah, seed in there. Mm -hmm. So you've got to actually open up the dates, totally open them up, totally expose the inner workings of the date, and then we'll take the pit out, and then we deep pit them and put them here. So okay. that's what we do. We have to deep pit the dates. So like I said, there's a lot of work that goes beforehand. We now put this in the food processor, and we also did something else before. We took an orange. Thank you. And mm -hmm. we also took the zest of the orange. And we have a special equipment for that. And you just make the zest. Would you like to try this? Sure. And you just grate the zest like that. So we already have the zest pre-made. Mm, it smells good already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, raw kitchens are a plethora of amazing smells. Now, how much of that? How would that measure out? I, it seems just like a little amount. One teaspoon. One teaspoon. OK. Yes. yes. So we're going to process this now. And all we need is to make sure that it is chopped up. We're going to make the crust now by just emptying this in here. So there's no flour. So does it look like flour? See, it looks like flour. It looks like everything that goes into a real crust. But it might look too dry to you. But actually, as we start working with it, 
We you know what you're doing when you're working with food is you're transferring your own energy into food. So send the energy of love into it, and you will see that it responds in kind. Everything. There is energy in every single living thing on earth. And what I've done is put a mixture of apples. I don't like to use this same one. So we've used some Macintoshes, we've used some Gala apples, we've used some Red Delicious, some Golden Delicious, all kinds. We have here the apples that have been soaked in lemon juice, and that's why it hasn't turned a different color yet, because the lemon serves as a preservative and it keeps the color intact. Here, we have soaked it with apple juice, and that's to keep the moisture intact, because we're going to be needing moisture in this pie as well. So the apple juice that goes in here is not from a tin, it's not from a bottle. We made this ourselves in the Green Star machine today. So this is what the apple juice needs to look like. When you have apples, they should be totally and completely untouched. When we return, Tanya Kay will tell us about biodegradable kitchen cutlery. And later, we'll visit Ola Vegetarian Restaurant and see what they're uncooking.